Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 17.1.1. Now this will be a very, very important update for all iOS 17 users. So in this video, we're going to talk about this update. Let's see what you can expect from this update and of course how to update whether you should do it or not. So first of all, iOS 17.1.1 is coming out really soon, maybe as soon as today. Now here we have a report from this Twitter account, which actually has been very right when it comes to iOS releases, their predictions have been spot on. So here we have basically a tweet talking about iOS 17.1.1. It even has the build number for this update is 21B91. And this is the build number for iOS 17.1.1 and iPadOS 17.1.1, which will come out this week probably as soon as today. So why this update is really important for iOS users? Well, it will fix a lot of like bugs that users have been experiencing with iOS 17. These are bugs that are actually really, really important and they're actually really bad to have. The first one will be one with connectivity, especially with Wi-Fi. Now, Apple has actually stated that they have fixed this problem with iOS 17.2 beta one. But of course, this update 17.1.1 should bring this fix to other users as well, of course, that don't have the beta on their device. Basically, having problems with Wi-Fi disconnecting all the time, all the connectivity issues that you're experiencing with iOS 17.1 currently should be fixed with this update. Another one that a lot of users have been experiencing since iOS 17 has been released is just random shutdowns during the night on their devices. Now, a lot of users have reported this. So when you go to the battery section here, you would see a cutoff right here, which means that the device has been shut down. And this usually has happened overnight where your device will be turned off for a few hours. That's really weird. And this update should actually also fix that. There's also another problem with iOS 17 that actually has been present since iOS 17 has been released. And that has to do with wireless charging in cars, especially BMW. So a lot of users have been reporting these problems. iOS 17.1.1 should actually fix those problems. So how to update to iOS 17.1.1 and whether you should do it or not. Well, if you're on iOS 17.2 beta, you won't get this update, of course, but you most likely have all these fixes already on your device. If not, beta 2 should bring the additional fixes to your device, so there's no need to do that. So here we have the software update page. If you're on iOS 17.1, as long as you don't have the beta updates enabled here, you will get 17.1.1 here. Of course, you can update manually from here, or you can just turn on all the automatic updates. Just keep in mind that this is not a security and responses update, but it's of course like a full iOS update. So you should expect that to come under your software update page. Whether you should update or not, of course, if you're all already on iOS 17 or 17.1, make sure you update immediately because it will fix these really important problems. Now, as far as the release date goes, I would expect iOS 17.1.1 to actually be released as soon as today. It will happen this week for sure, but I wouldn't be surprised if it actually happens today or maybe even tomorrow. Of course, this update has already been spotted in the wild here, so you can see according to 9 of 5 Mac, it has has been spotted on a growing number of devices running iOS 17.1.1 in Google Analytics data and so has been spotted by Mac rumors. So we know that of course the update exists. Now all we have to do is wait for Apple to actually release this to the public. Now we also have another update which is iOS 17.2. We're currently on beta 1. Apple didn't release an update for a couple of weeks, but of course they should release it this week. Now, depends on iOS 17.1.1, when it will be released. If it releases today, then you can expect the second beta of iOS 17.2 to be released tomorrow, or if it releases today, then you can expect iOS 17.1.1 
to be released tomorrow. So during this week, we're getting the two updates, 17.1.1 and also the second beta of iOS 17.2. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you want to see full video on iOS 17.1.1 once it gets released. And of course, if you want to be informed more about 17.2 beta, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.